Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. In episode number 27, I'm going to be building some HON3 rail cars. I needed one as a basic template, so I purchased one. And yes, I am building these cars, but I'm not going to build the trucks. The nice folks at the Microtrain have such nice trucks. Why build them? Looking around, I had tons of stuff to use for this project. In fact, the only thing I had to buy for it were the trucks. Come to find out, this nice metal ruler ended up being just the right size, width-wise, for these cars. So I was able to use it for a template, drawing out some pictures. One of the little tricks I use on a fairly regular basis is double-sided tape. I put it right down on the template, and then I build on top of it. So I started out by building a basic frame, and then adding where the trucks are going to be attached to. It's got to be fairly strong so it doesn't fall apart. From that point, I started putting in some lateral stringers, which will give it stability and strength. At this point in the project, make sure that everything's straight and plumb, because as you add more stuff, it'll be too late. You won't be able to change anything, and you do want it flat and straight. Now, then you put these stringers on it, and they're going to be important here in just a second. I'll show you what they're used for. These cars, when they were built, had torsional supports underneath to hold them and make them light. A lot of them were actually wood when they were originally built. I did have one little project getting these stringers on. Well, I'll talk about that later. At this time, you got to be very careful taking it off the tape because it's not very strong yet, so be gentle. Now I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite tools. It's the Chopper 2, put out by the Northwest Shortline people. Absolutely nothing is better at making repetitive clean cuts in plastic, wood, and also compressed paper. Get one. You'll like it. You might be wondering what all those little pieces of wood are going to be used for. It's going to be the decking. That's what the Chopper 2 is best at, making repetitive, accurate cuts. And of course, I'm using my old friend Elmer's glue to glue them on. The next challenge was putting the trucks on. I found that was a little bit more work than I had anticipated. Get them too tall, doesn't look right. Get them too short, and the wheels rub on the bottom. So that didn't work out for a while. And here I am cleaning up the edges because it's time to make the sides. And of course, you can see the truck supports there. For the sides, went back to my double-sided tape. Back to my chopper too, chop, chop, chop. Make sure that the slats are long enough that they'll be able to be able to be glued to the base. And here you can see I'm putting the sides on. Make sure that they're true and square because the next step will really show the difference. Aha, does the end fit? Did you get them straight or not? I don't know, we'll see. Of course, now we have to figure out how we're gonna color them. And I have a whole line of different colors from the nice folks at the Hunter Line Company. So we'll see you. It's off to the spray booth. When I got back from the spray booth, I really didn't like the color, so I got my old friends, my weathering powders out. to add a little more color here and a little more color there, and then they would look just right. The last step, of course, is putting on the couplers and the trucks. I had to kind of mess with the couplers and the trucks to get them right but that wasn't really too much work. This project turned out to be way better than I had anticipated. It was way easier, way faster, and I was really pleased. Now, I did have to do some extra stuff like put together the handbrake handles and stuff like that, but hey, you ought to try some. You ought to make some of your own. Well, let's have a few pictures here of what they look like. Well, thanks for joining us here in episode 27. Come back and see me again sometime. Have fun with your trains. Bye-bye.